This is Brianna Rudder from HowToBlackHair.com and I'll be teaching you how to do the Ghana braids hairstyle. When doing the Ghana braids, you want to make sure that you're parting out an appropriate section of hair for the width you want your braids to be. My braids are going to be anywhere from about medium to large size, so you want to part accordingly. When parting near the back of your head, make sure that the width of the part starts to become thinner so that all of your braids can reach the back of your head. After that, use hair clips to keep your other hair section out of the way as you are braiding. And before braiding, gently detangle through your section of hair with a wide tooth comb. At this point, you are going to begin sectioning your braiding hair. And you don't have to taper the ends. All you have to do is pinch off portions of hair. Each piece needs to gradually get larger. So you're increasing in size about 30%. So you start off with a very small piece and then when you take your second portion, you're just gonna add more hair to it and continue to go on. To have enough hair, make sure you have 10 sections of braiding hair. Now pinch a very small amount of hair at the very beginning of your braid. This is gonna give you that seamless, flawless look when doing Ghana braids on your hair. And you're gonna braid a regular cornrow braid as you're doing this, but this looping technique is what separates these braids from cornrow braids. So grab a section of hair and hold it in your middle finger of your other hand, and then grab one of the legs to the outer leg of your cornrow. Once you do that, you're gonna loop the other leg to the other outer leg of the cornrow. So that way as you're braiding, the loop is up top instead of underneath, because that's the signature look of Ghana braids. So you're gonna braid for just a couple more times, about four to five times. So that way you can free your finger again on your left hand. You're gonna add the new leg to the outer leg and then the other new leg to the outer leg of the cornrow. So every time you add a piece of braiding hair, both legs of your new braiding hair has to go to both outside legs of your cornrow braid. When doing this, once again, the little loop that is added of your new braiding hair will be up top of your braid to give you that look. So once again, add the new leg to the outer leg of the cornrow and the other new leg to the outer leg of the other side of the cornrow braid. After braiding down, you're gonna just continue to braid once you're leaving the scalp and make sure that you're keeping the hair smooth so that the Ghana braids are not lumpy. Just continue braiding all the way down to the very ends. And if you notice that some of your legs are becoming a little bit thinner, just pinch off some hair from a neighboring leg to go to the other side and then continue braiding. This ensures that all of your legs will stop at the same point at the bottom. Once you're all finished, this is how your Ghana braids will look. This is such a beautiful and creative and neat looking style that you can do to put that spin on cornrow braids. Being that you don't add the hair the same way as a cornrow braid, you're going to create a look that starts to gradually get thicker as you near the back. So after you finish wearing your Ghana braids for a while, taking them down is super easy. All you have to do is cut the end of the braid and then finish taking it down by hand. If you're not sure as to where your hair ends, I highly suggest that you don't cut through your braid, but just unravel from the very end and work your way up to take your hair down so that you don't accidentally cut your real hair. Because pieces of hair were added, it's very important that you actually smooth your real hair out of the extension hair instead of pulling the extension hair or yanking it off of your real hair. When you notice that the braids are becoming a little bit more tighter and you can actually see where your hair ends, go ahead and cut if you feel comfortable so that way it's easier to take your braid down. Thanks for watching the Ghana Braids hairstyle. For updates on new hairstyling tutorials, follow me on Instagram at Brianna Rudder.